YouTube. This is Tushar here, and today we are going to discuss about the mixins. Uh, I hope you remember in the last video we have talked about less, what is less, and what are variables and less. So in this video we'll move ahead and we'll talk about mixins and less. So in simple words, mixins are group of styles that you can reuse again and again at different places and you have to declare it at one place as you do when you create a variable in less so let's discuss about it so as you know this is codepan online editor so first i'm gonna include css preprocessor less and also i just want to include bootstrap just for quick coding Okay. so first I'll create a variable and I hope you remember we create a variable start with at or at the rate whatever you want to call and then uh, size okay so I'm gonna give it 10 px I've created one variable to declare a mixin in less you have to start it with a period symbol and i want to create a group of rules a set of rules for border radius radius yeah so inside it what i'm gonna do is i'll pass a fix uh, you can compare it with a function you wrote the function name First of all, you wrote function keyword, then function name, then you pass parameter and then curly braces. So there is no keyword, the name of the function, the parameter you pass. In this case, I will pass size. Or right here, you don't need to include, I'll tell you why. So this is my function border radius and remove this also. So this is my function. So what I'm gonna do is border radius. Uh, I've declared the variable. I will use it here. So I'll copy it. Okay. So we'll start with uh, vendor prefixes for Chrome and Safari then for mozilla then for opera then for ms then just normal water radius so so this is what is mixing okay so i'm gonna give it something like mixing for border radius okay so I'm gonna use it for this. First I have to create something. So I'm gonna create a button. Uh, I created a button I just want to style it a bit so first of all I can also do okay. so I'm gonna give it uh, more width and height with around 200 px Height around 50 px, padding around 0, and line height same as height. Also, some margin top around 40 px will increase the font size just to look it more good. Okay, so this is my button, right? So 
so it already have some border radius as you can see over here okay so we'll see how much border radius it has okay so it is having 4 px border radius you can see over here 4 px border radius okay but we are going to apply it 10 px right because we have declared a variable and the value of that variable is 10 px so what how we will use this mixins in the button okay so what we have to do is we have to just call the mixin okay like this now you can see that the border radius has been changed okay so again we'll inspect and uh, now you can see the border radius is applied here is 10 px so that what mixin can do for you so this is the format in less but how it will look when you see the css format for this less file so here is an option in code pen you can see over here view compiled okay just click on it now you can see the property I have, mixin i have declared is here okay and in the button only wherever i've called the mixin it is replacing by the inside property of that mixin okay here we have declared that mixin and here it will be get applied if you just call the name of the mixin okay so this is you are seeing the css the compiled one this is the thing that we have written One more example I'll tell you and then you can do by yourself whatever you want to do. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna remove it uh, or I'll let it be here. I'll remove the size okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass a parameter to this mixin function and that parameter will be size okay so whatever the value the size will have will be passed to these all places okay so here what how we have to call is again the same the name of the mixin border radius and here I will pass the value okay you can see over here I have declared a parameter over here right so now at this place I have to just give a value to it so I'll give this time 50% okay now it's not looking good so 30px or 25 I think so you can see how it is looking okay I have just passed the value I just passed the value to it and how it is looking it is completely changed we can inspect and we can see is it getting 25px yes it is getting 25px you can see over here so we can pass the parameters and we can give a value at a place where we where we are calling that function okay I'll show you one more by making one more button see okay so I'm gonna increase a bit width some margin right so why it is getting applied to both the button because both button have the class a dot button okay very px okay so this time i'll remove this thing from here now for uh, the first button is i'll change the styling for the second button button success okay So now dot button danger 
a dot button danger now we, i'll call the maxin here i'll pass 10 px and for the second one button success i will give some other value so this is the power of maxin okay declare it at one place and pass the value whatever you want similarly you think you can create maxin for padding margin uh, position whatever you want so suppose i'll make it 15 px just to differentiate both the buttons so this is how it will look you can check for button success the border radius is 15 px because that's what the value we called 15 px as you can see over here right here also 15 px for button danger the first button the border px the value we have passed is 10 px and we will check it also see for that it is 10 px right so this is the power and the value of mixing okay so it will prevent you to repeat the code okay you have to declare a function a mixing function at one place and you can pass the value where, wherever you call the mix it okay so as many number of parameter you want to pass you can pass where you declare the maxing but you have to similarly you have to just pass the value where you call the mix it okay so yeah thanks for this watching this video please subscribe and like if you feel that this series is good thanks